Damien Ferry here, live for the Unshackled, and we're at an event called the 2019 TBC Aussie Flag March. Very, very important event that comes in every year at around June, and basically celebrates everything about Australia, what it means to be an Australian. Uh, we got a, a good 50 odd people here. We ended up um, starting at a memory park, walking up towards um, down the street of Penrith here in far west Sydney and ended up over at uh, another park where we had speeches and so forth. Uh, I think it's a very important area to have it because this is the area um, federally located uh, called Lindsay. Electorally, it is an area that turned away from the Labor Party in the last election. It's definitely got working class roots here and a, um, a seat that didn't take um, things for granted. The people rose up and, and had their voice spoke. Um, made sure that the views that are very important to them resonates within the community. So it's it's definitely something that people are scared of. They're scared of losing their jobs to overseas immigrants, cheap labour, uh, our manufacturing going down the drain. They're very, very worried about how things are going economically and very, very worried when it comes to culturally. Uh, they don't want people to be destroying Australia Day it's very important to them and everything that it is to be an Australian. So this, this was a message that these people here in this electorate sent out the last federal election. And it was a very good day to, to be at, to be celebrating this special event. And we at The Unshackled here uh, will give you all the footage of the speeches and also uh, of the march in itself. There was a lot of cops here, so and a lot of other mainstream media that was also covering the event and if you go onto our page make sure you go out there and check all of the footage and just make sure you comment like and share and we'll see you then we're just here enjoying ourselves we don't need protection from nobody but i can tell you right now when we go to our cars when we get home the social media attacks the death threats for just loving your country is an absolute disgrace the people out there that are standing back don't know what's really happening and they've got their head in the sand and they don't want to know because it's easier just to sit there and think it's a good little world but when they start they're taking your food off the table start telling you what you can and can't do at workplaces the amount of propaganda we got these days it's 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 a disgrace and the fact that living in victoria is probably where it starts happening now as you can see, well, there's 50 of us. I'm proud to be amongst you all, all of you, because you're obviously here. Yeah, there's a reason we're here today. It's to love the Australian flag for what it brings and what it does. And what people don't realise, there's nothing in this world that I'm proud of than holding the Australian flag. No one might think it's for this flag. In World War One and Two, they might not agree about going to war, but I can guarantee this, they actually fought for each other. Every one of them. And you wonder why, how talented they were, and why everyone wanted to be amongst us. Because we never take a backward step. I'd like to thank Beach for organising this. He's gone out of his way. Now, we're going to be marching. And I hope that people will understand that all we're here today is to join the Australian flag. I would love people to do it. If you're not, if you're not comfortable, you're more than welcome to sit back. But understand this, if you're Australian, be a part of it. Be here with us now. Today we are. Be proud of being Australian. Because I just all got, had a gut pull of the fact that when you have an Australian flag, you're basically treated like dirt these days. Now, I was in Victoria. Australia Day, 26. I was standing on Flinders Street steps with my Australian flag. And guess what? I got treated like dirt by the coppers. I got dragged to the ground, beaten, stolen me stuff. Now, what did they do? They took me out, moved me on. Because why? There's only one of them, one of me. And they think that's right. And what's sad is, they all sit here and think they're God's gift to the universe. But when shit hits the fan, whose side are they going to be on? Who's, who's going to be taking it on? Now, I want everyone. You might not know what's going on, but... We're going to be going up to the park. I would love everyone that you see right now to enjoy 
the Australian flag for what it is and love your country. Let's go. Because guess what? Whose streets is it? It's our street. Let's go. It's Australia's street, mate. And you should be joining us. Instead of being a coward. I'm not a coward, mate. Then join us then, mate. Join us. Be on the right side. Now, I'm about to see there's a few more people than I expected. There's some newbies and a lot of oldies that we can see, with the movement that is. The reason we're here today is just enjoy the Australian flag and what comes with it. And nothing makes me prouder. There is still people out there that think exactly like us. They may not be here today, but how many times are you here at work how they've had a gut full? But they're not here today. So when it shit hits a fan and it's too late, 
bless you, so God will hold your head high, that you're proud to just come out here today and at least show the respect the flag deserves and enjoy what it is. There's going to be a few guest speakers today. I'm not going to dribble all day. We can certainly do that over a couple of beers, but... <laughs> and when Scott Morrison said, when you have a go, you get a go. Yeah, yeah. bloody oath. <laughs> That's the way. But as you can see, we've got media here. Right. Because I can tell you right now, they aren't here to enjoy the flag. No. They're hoping something kicks off so they can spin it as they normally do. Because they make, they make us out to be scum. And it's disgusting. Because it's so controlled. And that's why people are too scared to come out these days. They've ramped it. Now, I don't know if you're a bar of soap, but I can guarantee this, they aren't going to be very polite to me. Nor in the coppers. The man of have been belted for loving me country. That's all I am. Just loving me country and having me flag. And to be belted. And nothing done about it. Why? Explain that to your friends. Explain it to everyone. Now, I come all the way from Victoria. So I knew this was happening, and I didn't want to. I want to be a part of it, and I'm back. So who we got to speak, Mitch? Oscar, come up. Lads, yeah. society, give him a round of applause, fellas. I just like to remind everyone here that it takes a certain moral fiber in an age like this, even to have principles, whatever they may be. Right? All of us are here because we care about principles that we hold dear more than we care about petty comforts or anonymity or about just lurking in the shadows like many people who may share aspects of our convictions do. And remind yourselves that for every one of us there are, you know, out here today showing respect and showing a modicum of courage, I would say as well. There are tens, hundreds, maybe thousands like us who may not necessarily show their faces in the way that we do, but will always stand with us when it's relatively easy to do so. So I would say as a movement, our challenge now is to make that possible, to facilitate that, and to structure and create a movement such that people can operate and give their support in a way that is easy, even. Because here we are, right? We've got uh, my dear friend here, you know, all these guys, all these cops, right? It's a standover tactic, really, and all of you know, instinctively, these people are not our friends. These people do not have our best interests at heart. These people are here fundamentally to slander and defame us. And they can do that for a certain amount of time, but the public becomes more aware of it with every passing year as sympathy for our perspective and for people like us grows. So all I would like to say is we can count our days as our enemies count theirs. That's all. Is there anyone else that would like to say something? Now, I haven't prepared anything and I'm not much of a public speaker, but uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the founder of what we call Australia Day Convoy, Save the Day. As you know, that there's a push uh, by the left to try and undermine our culture and uh, their idea of undermining Australia Day is the way of undermining the very fabric of our culture. So what I've done is organised the convoys um, in which on the 26th of January every year we try and get as many people together uh, in a group to flag up their cars and to drive through a con in, in a convoy through the heart of their town just to let people know, like, like we've done here today, put on the flags on your cars, drive through the heart of your town with all your mates and let them know that we mean business, that we will not be undermined. Australia Day stays on the 26th of January and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, in uh, the first two years, uh, we had a convoy in Sunshine Coast had, I organised one in Canberra and we had one in Adelaide as well and uh, that has expanded this year. Travis Murthwaite 
uh, where is he? He's, he's, he's organised one for Taree and that went off with a hit and I also had a mate do a bike ride in Bendigo and uh, we're trying to get as many towns, as many cities in Australia on board as possible. So uh, if you get on Facebook, just type in Australia Day, save the date, and you'll find our main national page. And from there you'll find a number of other pages uh, to events that will be happening near you. Thank you. Well, good day. My name's Victor Waterson. I'm sure a few of you know who I am. You know, being involved in the political scene, quite a few of us got involved over the, the threat of Islamic terrorism. One could argue that our government has actually brought it here. After all, how did man want us get here? They brought him here, and then the state Liberal government changed the bail laws, putting him on the street. Well done. You know, but today there's so many other things we've got to be concerned about. The jobs, the tanking, the tanking economy, you know, the very fact that, you know, foreign powers are now buying up everything. And, um, you know, there's a lot to be considered today. And I think a lot of the Australian public now are starting to wake up. So let's all get connected and um, get out there. Thank you. Now, I don't like talking amongst the people. It's very embarrassing. It's very hard. It's very hard to do. But I can tell you right now, is I will speak to the death of myself. The fact that I've got people here that are supporting me and the movement and the flag. If you're not proud of your flag, well, what are you proud of? Just tell me. What have you got to be proud of? How many flags do they have now? There should be only one up. They're trying to divide us all the time. Every single time you go, where are you from? Well, I'm from Australia. As soon as you fit in, you are one of us. Simple as that. Don't care who you are, where you come from, you walk with us. And you'll be one of us. None of this is the bride that we always pop. Have your say. Tell them. Talk to people. It's all they Just spark up a conversation. But I can guarantee this. It is hard to talk to far left. You do not bother. They are chemically imbalanced. They do not understand outside the box. It's like talking to a brick wall. I enjoy punching my head against it more than listen to their dribble with their carry-on and their feelings and their butt hurt. Do you see anyone here erupting violence? Why? Because the left are not here at the moment. But when they are, that's spelt out for everyone to see that we're the bad ones because we have an Australian flag. And that is a disgrace. Now, we won't be getting on the media because there's no violence. But I don't care about the media at all. Or the police that have tried to protect us, which they're not. They're here to watch us. Just keep doing what you do best. Just keep chanting away. There's nothing wrong with sparking up a conversation. But as soon as obviously you get too deep into it, people need to carry on. You don't need to do that. All you have to do is love your country. Simple as that. Enjoy the flag. Enjoy it. Now, I'll have a drink, and I think we're going to be having a for a drink after all this. Does anyone else want to have a chat? Yeah, or have a speak? Okay. We've got Tom. He's going to have a chat. I'm here today in appreciation for those who put their lives on the line for our flag. <laughs> and that is more than enough. Where are you, Mitchie boy? Finish it off for me, please, babe. Unless anyone wants to come up and speak? Yeah. Oh, just a few more. People wonder how we can be proud of this flag, even though it has the Union Jack. Well, I want to remind people that this week, this fortnight, when they take the Union Jack away, let's look at Hong Kong, okay? 
there are a couple of dozen people here today in defiance of people who want to destroy our country. All right? Do we need to wait till there's two million people in one city because they are currently destroying our country? No, let's stand up now. Let's stand up from the beginning. Let's make a stand. Let's let them know that we're actually proud of our culture, of our history, of our civilization, of the people who made this country and the people that brought us here. Yes, we're against the monsoon and the ashes. Okay. <laughs> but part of this flag is who we are. And what it represents is freedom. Thank you very much. If you know the words, sing along. We're going to sing the national anthem. And the reason we're doing it is because we keep getting told we're not allowed to do it anymore. <laughs> Be proud of who you are. Hey, we all know it. Australians, all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth for talk, our home is dead by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and rare. Australia Fair. Go Pies! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see you. And I want to have a beer with everyone here after this. Yeah. Want to have a try? Yeah. Patriotism is not racism. Correct. One more chat. Hey yeah, guys. I'm Reg Penny. I'd like to say a few words. I always love my country. I always stand with it and go down with it. My great grandfather fought in World War Two just after the Bowen, Bowen, Darwin bombing and all that. Why he did that? Why he joined the army? So he could give my grandmother a future. My great grandfather, he's a war hero, and he is one reason why I love Australia because my great grandfather fought for this country and defended no matter what. Nowadays, what I see is disgusting. I mean, climate change and all that. Why? I don't want to see kids be found on the government. All I want to see is freedom. I don't. I want to see the Australia that my great grandfather grew up in. We're all young, free, and not controlled by the big government. Because I want kids to grow up in a country that is free. I want the kids to grow up into Australia that we used to grow up in. No more, no less. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! 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 Thank you, everyone. Threads. Um, go on, Ad. My mother's address. Screenshotted and sent to me online by Islamists. Had uh, my 18 month old daughter's photos put on a pedophile website by leftists. Um, the, the attacks has just been absolutely disgusting, but we're still here, aren't we? So, some good. Anyway, uh, we're all going to go back to the Peachtree Hotel and thank you very much for coming. Come have a beer. Thank you for everyone coming here today. I'm proud of every one of you. I would like to have a beer with every one of you. Just to talk of absolute dribble, but good dribble. None of the left crap. Thank you.